uh, we help or support our clients, which are the companies and sometimes the lawyers as well, relating to the fraud and non-compliance matters. So uh, we are working with our clients starting from uh, providing advice on how to prevent, detect fraud. So I think a lot happening in the emerging markets. I think that's a little bit because we are all similar. I was in fact sharing with you that long before I started that Thailand, that everything I've read seems so similar to India because we are small, small speed monies, facilitation payments, uh, controls are a little bit judiciary and enforcement needs, it's just picking up. Uh, so I, it's a very new concept. So I think uh, a lot of similarities across uh, countries in the emerging markets. What is the biggest exposure? Third parties. When I mean third parties, it is you have a company which is maybe manufacturing something, uh, you have logistics companies providing logistics services, you have a company which is doing your imports, you have a company which is doing your licensing, uh, you have hundreds of these third party subcontractors. If any of them pay a bribe, it can come back to you. So what is the elements of a key good whistleblowing mechanism in place? Obviously it has to have the policy. Again, we talked about policy, which should be quite quite clear. Uh, it should have the mechanics. Mechanics is in terms of how, how is this mechanism run? Is it a third party or is it running the, the, the hotline for example or is it an internal team? So, what, what are some of the benefits of FDA? Obviously, you know, you improve efficiency, it's repeatable. Um, there's, I guess, a number of insights that, that you guys will, you know, uh, sort of, there's been a few instances where we were engaged to find particular things, but, you know, through the investigation, we find other things that were not previously known, right? And obviously, there's the element of managing risk. 